Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark from MIDI Designer, and in this video I'm going to show you our latest feature, uh, which is showing and hiding panels from buttons. Uh, so the first feature is, um, well, I'm going to show how panels work in MIDI Designer in the first place. I'm going to delete this image panel, which is not a panel, though you can put image panels on panels. Um, I'm going to add a panel here. And uh, the first thing that you want to do with the panel is you want to put controls on it. So I'm going to take it and put it on top of these controls. And then when I move the panel, the controls aren't moving. So that's not what I want. Double tap on the panel, go into properties, allow panel controls, turn it off, and then turn it back on. MIDI designer says added controls to panel six. So that worked. That's good. And I can also just drag them off and drag them on and they'll get added. So I can take this one off, take, put this one on for instance. Um, and now the panels do move around and this is very convenient um, as we make our layouts and to organize things and also to give some background and you can configure panels in a whole bunch of ways. Um, alpha it up, color it up, uh, lots of things to be done there. Uh, you can even add a label, um, panel 55. Um, okay, so the money here is show in performance. I'm going to show how that works first, but first I'm going to show why you would want this. So um, I'm just going to drag, whoops, I'm going to drag this knob down here and I'm going to make this knob a super control of two sub controls, which are knob 12, 12 and knob 14. And I'm also gonna give it another option as a super, which is that it's sequential. So now when you spin up knob 13, it spins up 12 and 14. Knob 13 wouldn't send because super controls do not send uh, typically. And if I go into the log, I can see that this is happening. Um, which is to say I'm sending uh, CC10 and then I'm sending CC12, which is what the knobs are for 12 and 14. Now that I've got that working, I'm going to just hide the mechanism entirely, which is the panel. Go into design mode, double, double tap on the panel and hide in play mode, turn it on, exit design mode, and now the panel's gone, but the behavior, we're still sending 10 and then 12. So the behavior remains the same. So this allows you to hide an underlying mechanism uh, of some knob or some control that's working in MIDI Designer and how it gets its output. You don't want to show the guts. You can now hide them and hide them with an entire panel. I'm going to go back into design mode and we're going to look at the next feature. Uh, I'm going to shut off hide and play mode and now I'm going to bring a button down here. Um, this is going to be um, my, actually, let me do it the other way. I'll do it a uh, long way. Um, this button is going to be called show. And now when I tap here, button shows hides. There's my show button for the panel. Apply. And I exit out of design mode and the panel's already gone. If I hit show, it shows. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's the first thing that you'll want to do with show and hide panels. But we haven't done anything cool here because we haven't gained any real estate on the page. Um, basically, the panel shows or the panel hides. But what I really want to be able to do is do two panels that are in similar, that are in the same place. And I want to do it hopefully with a set of buttons that is exclusive, radio buttons. So I'm going to show how to set that up. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another panel here. And this one is going to be uh, a bit wider, let's say. And we're just going to drag some existing controls onto it. Obviously, we could create new, new controls here, but... Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, drag some from the other page, doesn't matter. And, oh yeah, let's add a slider while we're at it. 
if this fits. Oh, this fits nice. Okay, nicely. So uh, that's cool. Um, and now I'm just going to take this second button here and do the exact same thing, which is uh, this panel is going to be um, hidden by button 33. There it is apply, exit design mode, and now this is on and off with 33, this is on and off with show, that's all fine, but now what I really wanna do is I wanna group these two with a radio button. So I'm just gonna bring down this radio button, knob 15, relationships. It's a super control, and its sub controls are show, its sub controls are show, let me try that again, show, and button 33, and now I exit design mode, and now, after one iteration, these are now radio buttons, which are controlled by this also, but I'm gonna hide that knob, because I think that's underlying mechanism, basically. So it's also got the same thing, hide in performance. We've had this uh, since before, hide in play mode, and now when I exit design mode, yeah. So this is kind of cool, but these are in the exact same, these are uh, in different places, so I haven't gained any real estate. Now let's do that. I'm gonna go into design mode and I'm gonna tap on the locks. And these locks allow me to interact with all the elements on the page except those that are locked. So I'm gonna lock uh, everything but panels. And this allows me to just tap into panels really easily without getting any interference from anything else. And I'm just gonna put these two panels right on top of one another. Then I'm gonna shut off my locks for others and I'm gonna do some sizing of these buttons so that they look nicer. Um, let's take this one. I want it to be actually the same size. One smaller, that'll go nice. Okay, now I exit out of design mode and I've got two different panels that show in the same space, depending on what I'm doing. You could imagine that you've got several diff different distortions, or you've got a phaser, and you've got a flanger, or whatever. Um, you've got your lunch robot, and you've got your dinner robot, whatever it is. So um, that's how you do show and hide panels in MIDI Designer 2.150. We're uh, working out some glitches, and it should release in the next few weeks. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what our users do with it, which is always the excitement of a new feature in MIDI Designer. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for checking out MIDI Designer. And uh, thanks to all of our users who keep creating and keep sharing and keep talking about MIDI Designer. Um, it's an inspiration to us every day. Thank you.